How's it going YouTube? Pokemon Insider here with another Pokemon Theory video. Crap, I'm not Pokemon Insider. Oh my god, how low do I have to go? How the hell does Toby do this stuff? Hey, Pokemon Masters, Bird Keeper Toby here, and I need to get myself a new intro. <laughs> And this is why I should not be in front of a camera. I get too crazy. But welcome back fam. Today we're doing a theory that I found actually in Pokemon Amino. And I was able to get the okay from the creator to use it in one of my videos. And I'm going to be adding a few stuff here and there to make it a little more compelling. But I'm going to give you guys the link to the post so you guys can check it out at the end of the video. Now, I'm going to do something that most of you guys are probably going to hate me, alright? I'm going to be crossing cannons. And I know, I know, I get all those comments all the time. I feel like, you know that scene of the Lion King when, uh, what's his name, Simba, it's on the bottom and he sees like all those antelopes just coming down the hill and everything? Yeah, those things over there, those are hate comments that I know are coming. And that would be my face. But anyways, uh, this theory is called that the anime was actually first, not the games. So please, don't hate me. I find it very interesting how both sides of the same series reference each other. We can all agree that they're separate canons. However, keep in mind that they're both trying to reflect on the same franchise. And as most games, shows, or comics, they have lore behind them that we can use to create some sort of timeline to plot when many of the major events take place. For instance, if we take a look at Generation 2, because of all the NPC tags and suggested evidence, we can safely assume that it takes place a few years after the events of Generation 1 three years to be exact. We know that in reality the games were released first and most will argue that Ash is just a ripoff of Red because, you know, he's the cool one. There has been many crazy theories regarding these two guys. Some say that they are brothers, Ash being the younger one, even a father and son relationship. But again, everybody assumes that the events of the anime take place after the games. But the most compelling evidence points otherwise. I am going to be covering a few points and honestly I feel that they might even be more. But here's what I've noticed so far. So point number one is Team Rocket. As you know, this evil team has a strong presence in Kanto and is quite noticeably in both the games and anime. However, there's one major event that took place. This team is actually defeated and is forced to disband. And this is accredited to none other than Red. If both the anime and games share some sort of timeline, this would only make sense to take place after Ash's journey, because Team Rocket is present during his time, and again, it's not Ash who forces to disband this evil team. If Ash's journey takes place after Red's, it would mean that Ash would have a very low possibility to encounter Team Rocket, as there are only a few members scattered around, and Giovanni, well, nowhere to be found. Which brings me to the next point, Mewtwo. Both Ash and Red have been able to encounter him. We see him for the first time in the anime under the orders of Giovanni, but Red doesn't get to see him until he reaches Cerulean Cave. The anime is supposed to reflect the events of the first generation of games, so why do they show so many differences? Again, if we consider that the anime takes place before the games, it starts to make more sense. To me, it goes something like this. Ash fights Mewtwo and afterwards the events of the first movie take place. And if you notice at the very end of the movie, Mewtwo decides to leave and take his clones to a place where they can live in peace. That place I believe is Cerulean Cave. This is why it's being guarded by the Pokemon League. And the reason the Pokemon are so powerful in there is because they are the clones of the first movie who according to Mewtwo himself are a lot more powerful than the originals. Now I know that's a huge stretch, but if Nintendo and Game Freak wanted to connect the two, I think that would be a great point to start. And it makes sense, kind of. But I know that you guys want more solid evidence, so I save the best for last. Alan is a fairly new character that has his own series known as the Strongest Mega Evolution. I want to point out that he is in the same time period as Ash. Not only have they crossed paths before, but they also battle. And if you compare Alan from his series to the anime version, it seems that not much time has passed between the two. The biggest event in the strongest Mega Evolution act is the fight between Rayquaza and Primal Goron and Cairo, or however you pronounce his name. Alan participated in this battle, but he was not alone. There was one key witness, Steven, Hoenn's champion. And in the remakes of Ruby and Sapphire, he has something interesting to say. Quote, hmm. You know, seeing that white beauty there that you travel with, I am reminded of the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza. 
set to descend at the sky pillar. I once had a chance to see it face to face, although it was a long time ago. That young man who battled against Rayquaza beside me. I wonder whatever happened to him and that black Charizard of his. Well, regardless, you must go to the sky pillar and see what waits for you. I don't know what you'll find, but be careful. This is an obvious reference to Alon and the fight presented in the Mega Evolution Act series. If we take a closer look at the closest we have to an official timeline, we know that the events of Gen 1 and Gen 3 happen at the same time. Which means that when Steven claims that the battle took place a long time ago, then the anime precedes the events of the first games. I wonder if that is why Misty and Brock always look older to me in the games. Hmm, it would make sense. But anyways, that is just a crazy theory, not my theory though. I encourage you guys to check the original creator of this theory. I added more information here and there, but the premise is based on his theory, which I'm going to leave you guys with the link below to check it out on Pokemon Amino. And again, please guys, be gentle. I know I have done the forbidden. I cross cannons and please don't hate me that much. I think it's just fun that they actually reference each other. But thank you so much for watching and until next time, Pokemon fans. Thank you.